All right, guys, welcome back to some StarCraft 2. And uh, just to start us off, I'm going to show you what I have for uh, upgrades. I just I have um, up to Immortals. If you don't have some of this stuff right now, uh, don't worry about it. It's just that I did the Terran missions worse, the Core Hall missions before this. And it is possible for you to skip this. Uh, this is by mo no means necessary for you to do, but I've decided to uh, get the Solar Lance with Deploy Pylon and some other shit here. So, um, if you only have the, as I said, if you're lacking some of this stuff, uh, you can still, you can either go back to Core Hall if you're following my walkthrough, uh, or you can just, uh, I don't know, fucking just wing it and I'll kind of show you the general strategy of what to do. But having... At least the little beam things. I think you would get the, them in this mission. The, the little beam things that come down. Um, I think you'd normally get it anyway. So we'll see. The Zerg infestation is overtaking Telemetros. Our evacuation is already in great peril. Your raid cannot come soon enough, Hierarch. Shakuras teams with Amon Zerg broods. We hold only the southwest quadrant of Talametros, and even that is in peril. We must evacuate our people, but the launch bays have been defiled with infestation. Only ground forces can clear them. Once the bays are free, the planetary warp conduit will allow our ships to escape safely. The launch bays will be cleared. Your people will survive, Matriarch. This I swear. All right, gotta make some probes to start us off. You will need the aid of my Dark Templar in this battle. They can strike from the shadows without fear of reprisal. Welcome, Dark Templar, to the club. And they, yeah, they pretty much just uh, this map is kind of designed for them, so you're gonna be primarily using them. Uh, our solar lance, or if you have the little bombardment thing, I think you would get it in this mission at some point, if you didn't get it from the last one. Um. Clever. Artanis, I'm detecting a rift opening near your position. Avoid Thrasher. By the gods, it's sieging the war conduit. Warriors, we must slay it before it destroys the conduit. Strike as one, Templar. I just have the nice little beam weapon here, or or whatever the beam weapon is there. Uh, so I don't know. Like your case may be d different, but you'll, you'll be able to manage it. I have I have my absolute faith in you right now. We're just gonna kind of micro it around while he's uh, attacking it. The Thrasher is slain, but it will be for naught if the launch bays remain infested. There's gas everywhere. Pick that up when you get the chance. These vaults hold the solarite reserves that power Talimetros. You may claim them with our blessing, Hierarch. Oh, we're gonna go get that. Indeed, completing bonus objectives will allow me to improve the Spear of Adun's power. There are two vaults left in the city. I am the they like to run away, so it's always good to get a nice surround on these guys. So we're going to try and go for that top one first, probably. Uh, but we need to make some more Dark Templar. And we're also going to keep the, those things coming. Alright, so we have a Solar Alliance at the ready. So we kind of go like, oh hey, there's two things here. So how much HP do they have? They have uh, that much. I think we actually have to hit them with at least two, right? It, dep it depends if the armor reduces their... Yeah, actually, I think it does reduce their... Uh, so we have to hit him with all three of these. Um, as I said, in your particular case, uh, who knows what you have at this moment. Uh, but generally, you should be able to do it with something. If not, just go back. Are they now? The hell, he's like wounded. I am intrigued. Problem is, they keep running away. All right, now we just kind of head back here and have a have a grand old time. 
Uh, so the other two little optional objectives they don't show on your map. One's right here, other one's right here-ish. So uh, you just kind of get them along the way somewhere. Now, by the way, we don't actually have to kill every single building. We just have to kind of sneak past it. And that's kind of, I, I, you know, that's, that's what I'm going to go for here. You will need probably the capacity to attack air. The first launch bay has been cleared. Continue evacuating. You will need something to clear air, and we're going to probably use stalkers for that. Um, not incredibly uh, important factor right now, but it's going to be an eventual thing. Like right now, we can use the solar lines for that. So we're just going to kind of go kick that thing's ass. Remember, you're just making a shit ton of Dark Temple, that's all you're doing. And also make some Nidus Worms. Oh, how nice we have the Dark Templar, which can kill them. Whatever. Thrasher has been eliminated. This would be an opportune moment to clear the launch bays. It would be, wouldn't it? We're gonna probably make some... I'm gonna make some more guys there. Uh, and here's here's another attack that would normally be coming for us. We're gonna actually upgrade the their weapons because they don't get hit a whole lot. But uh, we also want to clear this guy potentially and potentially that thing as well. We have a moment to do that, so we're gonna wait until he kind of spins around. Oops. The spore crawlers and overseers ahead can detect our dark templars' movements. Slay them first. All right, see, so can we hit everything here? Oh yeah, we can. Look at that. Oh, we didn't actually finish that guy off. Uh, I need to somehow get over there to finish that asshole off. Oh, maybe not. Just try to play it a little bit more on the safer side, but it looks like we may not have that option because these guys kind of move in all the time. The best, the best thing is maybe just to, to kind of weaken them slowly and take out their little hive here. I kind of would, I would like to just move past to be honest, because we don't really need to deal with that. Alright, we caught another one there. Oh, okay, here we go. We have a couple here. I think I think just one will do it. I'm trying to think here. Hopefully just one does it. I guess we'll see, won't we? And is there anything else we want to kill here? I mean, we'll just kill a bunch of Zerglings. There we go. I'll just make a couple of Dark Templar there. I was going to make... I swear to you I was going to make shit there for that. Alright, so we dealt with most of that. As I said, if you have the beam weapon, that works just as well, to be honest. Uh, I think it's just two hits per per guy. Because I think they're armored, are they not? Yeah, we want to get over to this guy. Actually, hey, we could just we could probably just send this guy into suicide for it. Uh, maybe not. I'm trying to think of the best way of handling that. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe two. Maybe two to suicide for that. Hey, right, here's your guy. We didn't even get it. Fuck. You know what must be done. What happened to our other guys? I wonder. Oh, we handled that guy. We're just trying to get someone onto that point, so. Fuck it, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just nuke that thing from orbit. Had enough. There we go, detection dealt with. And we have our last, uh, our last conduit over here. We need more pylons. Which means we can actually go make a bunch of, uh, cannons now. Because we weren't actually doing that before. We have secured a second launch bay. Well done. Half of the bays are launching evacuation ships. 
Alright, we're just gonna skip past this. We don't need to deal with that. Remember, we're all about stealth this mission. We do not care about anything else. And that's what we're gonna do to shield up right here, too. So we're just using the solar lance to kill the detection that we see. And they're sending spore colors here. There we go, we dealt with most of that. Oh hey, it was an attack. Oh, here's your uh, other guy. Oh, we're gonna just stealth around it, fuck it. We're probably gonna make actually the pylon somewhere. Actually, wait. Oh. I wanna see where the other guy is first. Yeah, go back. Alright, here we go. Alright. Then we're gonna do that. And then send this guy to kill a bunch of that shit. It's not gonna finish him off, but one hit will. Because he does have that one armor. I bet we have this guy here. If we, if we just focus down the detection, they can't do anything, and we're good to go. Fortunately, we're running out of Vespin gas now. We have purged the infestation. Only one launch bay remains disabled. Alright, we're gonna go for the last uh, little optional objective, and that's over here. And we can go straight to the end. And actually, I can, I can pick up this guy before we do that. Oh, here's your last guy right there. We're just gonna wait for that guy to come off cooldown. I'm actually gonna have a look up here. Let me just make them all hold position. Oh, fuck me, dude. Uh, where was it? Okay. We unfortunately have to do, the, do it like this. And there's our other Void Thrasher here. So we're kind, of, we're kind of running ahead of it. That's kind of what we're doing here. We are actually literally just beating this with just the one, the one group here, which is great. And then once this is off cooldown, we can just go for the final one, and that's it. We've done all the optional things here, basically, at this point. Solarite reserve now. The solar core should be augmented by the time our forces return, Hierarch. Oh, oh, someone hit that one. Someone hit that one. Thank you. Uh, that guy is that guy is the hero. I probably would have had to go back. But I'm playing this without getting anything. I'm just stealthing through the entire thing. Because I'm I'm quite well known for my stealth sections. Uh Okay, there's one over here. We're gonna take out that one. One over here, and then that should be it. Okay, we're out. Of, we're out of range now. It's fine. Now there's absolutely nothing that can prevent us from winning this game, except for this one attack. No, we got enough shit there. We got. There's just two overseers in this area, so I even got jumped the gun. I mean, I found this level to be easiest just to do like that. Like, by the way, I just got the shoot for the free all the launch base before the fi final Void Thrasher. If you're wondering where that appears, that appears in that very last area that I entered with the two overseers. Um, I just I decided to just rush it because this is really easy, this entire one. So uh, that's it. We got Tensilar and 15 and fucking everything. Let's go. to see you once more, Hierarch. I had hoped that our next interaction would be your announcement of Ayer's reclamation. As did I. Instead, the Templar have fallen. Then the threat is greater than I realized. We cannot let the same fate befall Shakuras. It is too late for that. Amon Zerg poured through the warp gate as a tide of flesh and blade. They have already overrun Telemetros and are nearing the shrines of Lazul. This world is lost. With such an infestation, Shakuras must be destroyed. Destroy Shakuras? 
I will not permit this. Permit? Shakuras was my people's home long before we offered your sanctuary upon it. I will not let this world be a den for Amon's forces. Worlds may fall to ash. What matters is that we endure. To lose Shakuras and Aya. We are a vagabond people, Artanis. Our true home has always been Ire. Let us reclaim it together. It is fitting that the daughter of Raja Gaul decides the fate of the world she helped forge. Let us make preparations at once. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. Of all the Templar, you never wavered in the belief that our two peoples could live in unity. It is something I admired in you. It is ironic to hear you say this. All this time, I believed you were reluctant to accept the unity I sought. You and I had many a disagreement in the Twilight Council. For day by day, I saw my people losing what they were. I saw our precious old ways erode. You wished to preserve them. I am Nerezim, Dark Templar. I hold great pride in my people. But you are also Protoss. That is the greater affiliation. That is not what the Conclave believed when we were exiled long ago. Your kind had ire. Our culture is all we ever had. Let's check out the War Council. Okay, we got nothing here, but we do have a new unit. Cloaked warriors are now available for deployment. All right, well, we have um, the Narazim version, which is the, uh, this one has like a kind of a bounce attack, bounces to five targets, 35 damage each. That's, it's pretty strong, I have to say. Uh, you know, it, it could be pretty decent, Vengeance. except for this one, where every 60 seconds, they kind of go back to the shrine if they get, if they get killed. I mean, it depends really what you use them for, but uh, honestly, I think this is more valuable because you get more value out of the unit. They, they, every 60 seconds, they just, they don't die, which means if they get detected for some odd reason, you lose your entire, you get basically entire, entirely wiped with the DTs, they come back to life. And I would really suggest this one because with this one, they will bounce everywhere and possibly to their death, you know? But we don't really use the DTs that much, anyways, throughout the campaign. But we're gonna do the one where they—they're basically immortal. Let's just let's just not beat around the bush there. What have you discovered about the Keystone, Faye Smith? Only that my skills may be inadequate to assess it. Explain. Imagine the Terrans obtained one of our fabrication matrices. Could their scientists ever understand its engineering? The task set before me is of a similar scale. The Cell Naga were beings beyond our understanding. Keep working, Karax. I have faith in you. Alright, now for the important shit. Okay, this is the best thing ever, right here. Orbital Simulator. I just want to mention that. This is like, you can harvest a gas with simulators without requiring probes. It's very good. Especially on maps where you have like an extra expo, you can just kind of take the gas immediately and stockpile it forever. It means you're mining gas right from the get-go without requiring harvesters for it, which means that Chrono Surge actually isn't as important, I would say. Uh, but it saves like like six supply. It's just for 25 of the cell rate too. The other one is to allow the Nexus to automatically attack nearby enemy units for 20 damage. Uh, that's shit. I'm going to tell you right now. And the last one is, um, this one's actually pretty good as well. Um, Stargates and warp uh, robotics facilities can, tra uh, can use the... Uh, Warp in technology, warp in cooldowns to 20% faster, which is pretty good if you're trying to do some sort of synergization between robotics units and Stargate units with your gateway units. But it's not that necessarily great. I mean, you build faster, but you can just build another building for this. I like the stockpiling of gas, to be honest. Um, I mean... An argument can be made for either of these, but it's definitely better than Nexus Overcharge. Just fuck Nexus Overcharge, I never get that. And that's basically it for that, so hope you're enjoying. The evacuation ships have reported in. All are present, and are being escorted by the Spear of Adun. A giant phallic thing of Adun, alright. Oh well, that's all the time we got for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.